Hi, my name is Maura with Main Street ROI. And if you're not looking at your search terms report on at least a monthly basis, you might be missing out on a wealth of knowledge for your Google Ads campaigns. So what is a search terms report? It is basically exactly what it sounds like. It is the search terms people entered into Google to make your ads appear. So as you can imagine, this is an incredibly valuable tool. You can see where your ads are appearing or for what search terms and kind of determine whether or not they match up with your keywords or your campaign intent, or you can also exclude them from the campaign as negative keywords if they don't really match up. Um, so to get to your search terms report, you're gonna come over to the left side of your Google Ads account. Under the keywords toggle, it'll be the third report down under search terms. Um, when it comes up, it does look very similar to how we actually look at our normal keywords. The biggest differences are going to be this added slash excluded column, as well as this match type column, which is a little bit different than how we would use it for keywords. So added slash excluded, very simply, added means that the search term is already in your campaign. Excluded means that it has been added as a negative keyword. Um, if it doesn't have either of these, that's totally fine. Not every keyword needs to be handled in one way or the other. Um, you might still you know, leave one as just a search term or none to see whether it might bring in more you know, activity in the future or something like that. And then match type, this actually refers to the match type your search term is to your keyword. So if we look at this first row up here, we have an exact match keyword for bath fitters and the search term was bath fitters. So that's an exact match. We know that that is already added into our campaign. If we come down here, we have a phrase match keyword for bathtub shower remodel and someone, um, someone searched best tub to shower conversion companies. So that is a close variant to the phrase match. Um, Google has kind of inferred that these mean very similar things. Um, and in this case, they got it right. That could potentially be um, a keyword that you would wanna add for the future, or you might wanna continue monitoring it if you're more of a you know, full remodel company and not necessarily just a conversion company. So you really, really have to think about what are the intent behind your ads? What, um, what people are searching? Is it relevant for what you actually do? Um, of course, you could leave all these keywords here and not use negative keywords, but that kind of leaves you open to losing some of your budget on people who are not actually interested in your services or may not even be searching for anything remotely having to do with services. They might just be looking for a product. So it's very important to use this search term report to help narrow down your campaigns to make sure that they're best optimized to getting conversions that you want for your goals. Um, my little pro tip for using the search terms report, one of my favorite ways to look at it is to navigate to the cost um, and then look at which search terms have cost us the month, the most in that time period, whether that's a month or more, and whether or not they've made any conversions. So in this case, if I see a keyword has cost me $200 in the last month, but has not gotten me any conversions, that might be something that I would potentially look at adding as a negative keyword to preserve budget for keywords that are more relevant or more impactful to the campaign. So as you can see, this is a ton of knowledge. Obviously, there's way more that you can go into. You can look at um, you know, a bunch of different columns, a bunch of different stats on these keywords. But this is an incredibly valuable way to, as I've said, narrow down your campaigns, further optimize it for exactly what your goal is, um, whatever conversions you may have defined. Um, so if you found this video helpful, I encourage you to look at your search terms report at least on a monthly basis. And if you're struggling a little bit with ads, feel free to reach out to our team of experts at Main Street ROI, and we'd be more than happy to give you guys a hand.